Okay, so uh, we've had a look at the uh, camera and we've taken it apart now. Um, so let's have a look what's inside. Ooh, okay. What are we betting that uh, this lithium battery has no protection circuit? Oh, wow. Okay, it does. What a miracle. Most of these devices have uh, no protection circuit in it whatsoever, so uh, the first thing I like to do with them is uh, replace the batteries as uh, it's just a fireball waiting to happen. Okay, so we've got the main circuit here. Uh, you got the uh, little microphone up there, and the uh, this is what we're interested in, the camera sensor. Now that should just pull off like so. And looking at it, I think initially that uh, even that is a little bit too fine um, to solder for uh, robot purposes. I think if uh, if we were to try and extend that, I think the unions would be a little bit too fragile for uh, getting chucked around in an arena. So the best bet is the sockets that are already here. Saying that, the um, way forward could actually be um, we lose the battery, so there's less of a uh, less of a fire hazard and less things uh, to go wrong. Because uh, that's one of the things in the uh, in the fighting robot association. Um, they they don't really like using lithium batteries to start with, so the fewer of these we've got going on, the better, really, I think. And a, again, if if I was just to squeeze this or or knock this lithium battery um, too hard, it could end up swelling up and then bursting into flames. So <laughs> you don't really want something setting fire inside your robot. Um, what I'm thinking is if we coated the whole thing in my special blend of resin and we maybe even mount a uh, metal back backing plate then we create a power cable which can jump into the uh, remote control circuit or the uh, battery elimination circuit of the uh, speed controllers um, we could then piggyback the power off of the main robot so the the main battery pack is actually powering this camera and now that the uh, shell and everything is off, I mean, look how how much uh, sort of slimmer that is. I mean, it's hardly got any footprint at all now. So we might actually be able to get away with just using the board uh, reinforced with some resin. And if we secure this uh, down with a good amount of uh, resin, maybe even some epoxy putty, um, we should come up with quite a nice disposable but... Uh, you know, usable um, recording device. So that's it for now. Um, keep watching, um, subscribe, you know, check out the blog for all the uh, highlights of what we've got going on. We are playing catch up still, but eventually it will be up to date. And eventually you'll get to see the robot as well. Um, so thanks for watching, and We'll get round to uh, doing another episode on this and we'll get it sorted.